Hey guys, hope you had a great week. It's been another really busy week in news. And so I thought, let's just talk about three different news stories that I think really deserve your attention. Number one, the U.S. military is sending more equipment and more U.S. forces to Saudi Arabia. In fact, over the last several weeks, we've sent an additional 3,000 U.S. forces to Saudi Arabia or extended deployments there. And since May, we've sent an additional 14,000 U.S. forces to the region. Now, just for context, the U.S. military is made up of more than a million active duty service members. But I'm paying close attention to this for a few different reasons, including the reasons why the U.S. government says it is making these decisions. The U.S. government says we're doing this in support of Saudi Arabia, our ally there in the region, but also because we do not want a conflict with Iran. So the United States government is directly addressing the heightened tensions in the region. We also say we're doing it to protect our own forces and our own interests in the region. And you know America's interests in the Middle East have been front and center this week when we've talked about Syria and what we are or are not doing in that particular country. But while we're moving some American forces around in Syria, I think it's really important to note where we're investing more resources, and that's in the country of Saudi Arabia. What it all means at this exact moment, we don't know, but I really think it's important that we pay attention to this, and I just wanted to make sure we flagged it for you. Number two, we're getting some new numbers when it comes to the U.S. southern border and U.S. border security. And these numbers are really important for a few different reasons. The first being they show a decline in apprehensions at the U.S. southern border, but they're also helping bring together the big picture for the entire year. The U.S. government doesn't look at a year the way that we do from January through December. The federal agencies use October through September as their full year. And so last month's numbers were really important because it sort of rounds out the entire picture for the year overall. And this is what we're hearing from Customs and Border Protection. Right now, the number as it stands is that the United States government apprehended about 52,000 people at the border in September. And that's nearly 100,000 fewer than we apprehended in May. So it's a big decrease. It's the fourth month we've seen a decrease of apprehensions at the U.S. southern border. But big picture, the U.S. government says that we apprehended nearly a million people crossing the U.S. southern border this year. Many of them were allowed to stay in the United States, and the U.S. government says they believe that maybe 150,000 people were able to cross without being apprehended. And so there's still a lot of concern about security at the U.S. southern border. We don't have the exact data yet, but it's going to be coming out over the next several weeks. So I just wanted to flag this for you. The trend overall is a decrease of apprehensions, and the U.S. government says that's in part because of help from Mexico. But the big picture is we're still at very, very historic numbers of apprehensions at the U.S. southern border. So expect this to continue to be a major news story. And finally, I know you saw this big story this week about Ellen DeGeneres sitting next to President George W. Bush at Dallas Cowboys football game and Ellen's comments about being kind to those that you don't necessarily share the same beliefs with. It made big news. It was everywhere. And I was really curious as to why. I mean, Clearly, there are some very obvious reasons as to why, but I wanted to look at the science of kindness, and I found a really interesting study at Oxford University that took a look at kindness that I just wanted to point out to you. So these researchers wanted to know, did it matter if you were kind to people that you really knew very well or strangers? Like, did you get more of a benefit out of being kind to those that you love versus those that you didn't know? And what they found is that you, there was a correlation between happiness and just being kind overall. It didn't matter if you were kind to people you knew or kind to strangers. And here's the kicker. It also helps if you were kind to yourself. So it didn't matter where or to whom you were kind to. If you were kind, your happiness went up. And I thought that was really cool to learn this week. So I wanted to share that with you. Hope you have a great weekend. Thanks so much for your support and your kindness to Smarter News. I really appreciate it and I feel it and I'm so grateful. Have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you back here at smarternews.com.